we continued west along the Overlanders Way towards Mount Isa. And our next stop was Cloncari, known as the friendly heart of the Great Northwest. When you come into Cloncurry, stop in at the Mary Kathleen Memorial Park. The information centre is just here. And so we're going to find out what there is to do around Cloncurry. The centre also houses a comprehensive mineral and gem collection from the area. Well, this is just a look out at uh, Mary Kay Park. It's beautiful scenery and you've got a clear view of the whole of the Cloncurry area over the town, out towards the mine. Black Mountain, it's beautiful. And you can come down to Cloncurry Airport for a bit of history as well. Right behind me is one of the original Qantas hangars that was built in 1919. And then you can go over to the side to see a number of plaques that commemorate many of the, the people who helped to form Cloncurry. And the John Flynn Place Museum in town is well worth a visit with fascinating displays commemorating the start of the Royal Flying Doctor's Service. The landscapes that surround Cloncari are vibrant with colour and Chinaman Creek Dam is a popular picnic and recreational area. As we continued west to Mount Isa, we stopped off to gaze at the azure blue waters of the Mary Kathleen mine site. This is the Mary Kathleen mine site, which is no longer in operation. It's between Cloncari and Mount Isa, and it is preferable if you've got a four wheel drive to get up here. When we arrived in Mount Isa, we checked into the Argila Caravan Park and it wasn't long before we were laughing and sharing stories with many other happy travellers. Yeah, it's just so much more relaxed. Everyone's so friendly and Mine has, yeah. they offer you tips on what to do and what not to do. <laughs> and you do this every night. You sit around and you meet people. And we do. And it's our first time out back. We've always done the coast before. So this is our first time out. And our, our original idea was to come in and just see what the outbacks are like. And the people are so friendly. <laughs> When dinner time came, the Buffs Club was recommended to us, so we jumped on to their courtesy bus. You can come into the Frog and Toad Bistro for dinner seven nights a week, and then on a Monday night, they also had the International Buffet. This month's Asian. As well as the buffet, they also have an a la carte menu with meals to satisfy any appetite. And then after dinner, grab a cold drink, mingle with the locals and enjoy a game of pool. Mount Isa is an oasis in the outback, with all the luxuries of a modern city. From shopping to family parks, this town has it all. When you arrive into Mount Isa, out back at Isa is the information centre, but it's also a really fascinating attraction as well. So come in and check it out. The Isa Experience Museum will give you an insight into the early days of this mining town. It's great to be able to come in here because the story of the history of Mount Isa is really quite interesting. And even journey through the region's ancient times. There are many hours of experiences to be enjoyed here. But if you want to get a taste of what it's really like to work in an underground mine, then you can't go past the award-winning Hard Times Mine Tour. As you descend underground with your guide, you really get an insight into what it's like to be deep under the Earth's surface. Okay guys, this is a blast face, all set up, ready to fire. And at the end of your day, make sure you get up to the lookout to watch the sunset behind the hills of the mine as the town lights up and reminisce about the great times you had and new friends met. <laughs>